and if I were to be giving attention to another guy, how would it make you feel? Um, obviously, it's just not something I'm comfortable with imagining. The vulgarity of the idea of you with two husbands or another lover um, sickens me. Well, brother husbands might sicken Cody Brown way back in season one, but some men must love it because we're about to see a whole show of it. In March, TLC will debut their new show, Seeking Brother Husbands. And as you might remember, TLC tried a similar show back in 2017, just called Brother Husbands, but they canceled that after just one season. I guess the world wasn't ready for Brother Husbands back then, but with as much as we've all gone through over the past few years, TLC thinks we are ready for it now. So far, they've only released one trailer of the show, so I want to talk about that with you. Let's compare that to Sister Wives, and then you let me know, are you going to watch Seeking Brother Husbands? Seeking Brother Husbands is going to focus on four different families who are at different stages of polyandry. In the first family, there's one wife with two husbands. And in the trailer, she defines for us polyandry as the practice of one woman having multiple husbands. But those husbands, and you see her body language here, they cannot have any other partners. One of the husbands later explains that he has his own bedroom while his wife shares a bedroom with the other husband. In the second family, there's one wife and one husband, but they're looking for a brother husband. In the trailer, she asks her husband if it'll be hard for him to watch her hold hands with someone else or kiss someone else, and he admits that it will not be easy. Nevertheless, she says that polyandry is not just about being physical with someone else, but as of now, we don't know what it is actually about for her. In the next family, there's one wife, Kim, in the middle, and one husband, the guy on the right in the white shirt, and the guy in the blue on the left, I can't tell if he's an actual brother husband or if he's like a future brother husband, but either way, we hear from the husband in the trailer who says he was watching his partner fall for another man right before his eyes, and obviously that was challenging. <laughs> Later, he says that he is okay with his wife being with another man, but only most of the time. Later, they show the wife crying to the maybe brother husband, maybe future brother husband, that she wishes she could be everything he needed, but she just can't. The final family to appear in the trailer includes one wife and three husbands. In the trailer, one husband and the wife are getting into a bit of a disagreement. He says to her that he's feeling like he's getting swapped out. I assume they're bringing in a brother husband around this time. Anyway, his wife says... It doesn't feel like that to her. It doesn't feel like she's getting swapped out. And he says, well, yeah, that's because you're not the one getting swapped out. Afterwards, she cries to the camera and says that she's not having a good time right now. Okay, so far, what do you think? See, TLC has not yet released the names of any of these people except for Kim. That's the only name that has been released because it shows up in the scene in the trailer. Anyway, that means we can't look these people up. <laughs> we can't look on social media and find out if their lives are at least presenting as happy, presenting as fulfilling. We don't even know. There is definitely, though, a lot of potential for a lot of drama, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of uh, confusion and chaos, and hopefully a little bit of happiness is in there, too. I will be honest, though, it's hard to talk about seeking brother husbands and not want to compare it to sister wives. So let's just do that, okay? Now, if we've been in conversation before, then you know that I am a diehard fan of sister wives, so much so I started a whole YouTube channel so I could discuss it with other people who are interested in the Brown family. So maybe I am talking from a place of bias. That's possible. But we, either way, have to admit that sister wives has been on air for 17 seasons. It was one of TLC's most popular shows, for at least for last year, and it introduced real-life polyamory to many of us for the first time. And while I am definitely going to be watching Seeking Brother Husbands, I don't think it's going to be quite as successful as Sister Wives. And this is why. Okay, so, yeah, the show did start out centering Cody... And, you know, we got to see how he managed this huge family. But the real story was about the relationships between the women. 
You know, how would the three original wives react when the fourth wife came in? How would all four of them work together or not to raise their family? At the end of the day, and Cody, if you're out there, I hate to have to tell you this. I think the show was successful because of the dynamic relationships between the women and their struggles to work together. And honestly, I feel a little skeptical about Seeking Brother Husbands being able to show the same quality of dynamic relationship between the husbands as Sister Wives was able to show between the wives. I imagine TLC will find a way to do it, but I am curious about it. And it's not just me making this up, okay? <laughs> this might feel a little random, but a recent interview that Jane Fonda did speaks perfectly to this question that I have. Women's friendships are very different than men's friendships. And they're very important to our health. We, because you guys, you kind of sit side by side and watch sports or cars or women. Women sit facing each other eye to eye and they say, I'm in trouble, I need you, can you help me? You know, we're not afraid of being vulnerable. Hey, of course, not all men. Okay, no, it's not all men do the same thing. Not all women do the same thing. But either way, the truth is that if the men, if the brother husbands don't have an engaging way of relating to each other, then where is the magic of this show going to come from? Will it constantly have to be filtered through the wives? At this point, like I think I said earlier, TLC hasn't released the family's names or if there are kids involved or if any of this is based in like a religious belief. So there are a lot of questions left to be answered. And I am sure TLC producers have some tricks up their sleeves to make the chaos of being on a TLC reality show happen. And I am excited to see what they come up with. So all that to say, yes, I am a little skeptical. I don't think this show is going to hit the mark in the same way that Sister Wives did. But that's okay. It's only going to be the first season. I am going to be watching. And let me know, are you going to be watching? Are you interested in what these brother husbands are talking about? Let me know in the comments. Or we can just plan to meet here again in the next video. All right, take care. Bye.